Now, these proposed changes do require some faith on the part of this campus, this community, and this region to believe that it's going to be a good thing. Good evening. What to do about IPFW just days before Purdue's board will vote to decide the school's future? All of the players came to town to listen to concerns and sell the idea to students and faculty. The president of Purdue in Indiana, along with IPFW's chancellor, took questions about the proposal that would change everything. If passed, it means Indiana Purdue University Fort Wayne will be turned into Purdue Fort Wayne. IU would focus on health sciences and Purdue would have everything else. Leaders of the schools say splitting the school is what needs to happen in order to create more opportunity for current and future students. They are changing the structure of the campus's governance in a way they feel will allow them to do what they do best. I think we need to give IU and Purdue the cautious but hopeful support that they need to implement their respective visions. It is clearly time for us to turn our attention and our energy to the future and the opportunities that lie before us. And we look forward to capitalizing upon and leveraging the strengths of Purdue University and Indiana University to build distinguished programs in our community and the region. But the idea hasn't gone over all that well. Hundreds of students, including the school's alumni board, have come out against the realignment. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us now with their reaction. Angelica. Brett, many faculty and students aren't sold on the idea. They say it'll do more harm than good. Today, they took their concerns to the school presidents, hoping to change their minds. An overall feeling of abandonment and betrayal. I cry a lot. <laughs> it just seems like we're the kids and there's a divorce going on. Arthur Friedel began his teaching career at IPFW almost 50 years ago, not long after IU and Purdue became one. IPFW was a vision that we held and struggled with and thought we had them combined. That could soon change under the realignment plan. It would create two separate universities with Purdue controlling the bulk of the campus. There's been a lot of conflicting information. It's just been a really terrifying time for students as we're given mixed messages. So today, Ann Brake and so many others attended the meeting, hoping for answers. What she got was disappointment. Their overall feeling is one of betrayal. We put our faith and our trust and our investments into this university. The exchanges got heated at times as protesters demanded answers to questions that the panel couldn't provide. They were very dismissive of students' concerns about not only our futures, but the futures of our siblings, our friends. Student body president Andrew Kreger says he understands that change is necessary, but hopes the board would be more forthcoming about what's next. Uh, right now it's all kind of up in the air what, what exactly is going to happen, but I think once some concrete ideas start coming out and some things start getting implemented, uh, it'll be an easier transition. With still so many questions unanswered, the future of the university remains uncertain. It's hard to tell what, what the future is. They keep looking at it in a very positive way because they have to. Purdue votes on the proposal this Friday. We'll have more information on the realignment on our website, wayne.com. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.